Okay, we're here at the Gateshead Hilton. I'm here with John Lewis Dickinson, who's headlining the Resurrection Show on Saturday night at Gateshead Leisure Centre. John, great to have you here. Yeah, hi. Looking Even better to, to see you get back in the ring there and be able to put right or wrong that happened earlier on in the year. I am um, looking forward to getting back in, obviously, I and, and putting, putting things right, obviously, getting back to winning ways. Uh, obviously, we know, I know personally myself and anyone around us, obviously. Coaches Ronnie, Gary, um, Lewis Pendleton, and all that. You know, we all know that it wasn't me who was in the in, yeah. in the ring that night. It was, and I'm looking forward to getting back in and showing what I'm all about. Well, it's one of those things. I mean, it's, it's boxing history is littered where it's fighters have gone in and they haven't performed. Something uh -huh. hasn't been right on the night, or uh, it's mental, physical, or whatever. But they often get away with it, and then they carry on through. Obviously. Fight the against right. a guy like Oliver McKenzie. If you if you weren't right at the time, you're going to get found out because of the way he is. That's it. I I mean obviously McKenzie's like probably one of the biggest punchers in the division. You know what I mean? And the, the the bad point was was the fact that I was on my game and, and allowed him to land these big shots. Which obviously it's it's a learning curve, you know. I am. Um, if I was ever like that again, I wouldn't I wouldn't go ahead and fight it because it, someone would get hurt. You know what I mean? It, Dangerous and my head wasn't on the game, so uh, I'm enjoying boxing. I'm loving it. I'm back in the gym and and I, like I say, I can't wait again and, and then fight on Saturday and, and get a win in the belt. Um, Obviously, caught me fry to, to serve your live challenge for a comeback fight. 100%. Um, obviously, caught me. He's, uh, he's got a lot of background. He's obviously was uh, European silver medalist in the amateurs. Um, he represented his country in the Olympics. Went to the Commonwealth Games. I'm sure he medalled there as well. Um, he's he's no duck egg, you know what I mean. He knows his way about the ring. He, he, it's going to be it's going to be a tough fight, you know. Uh, well, that's what I wanted. I, I said around me when I obviously I could have quite easily took an easy an easy fight against a journeyman or something when I came back. But I'm not in boxing for that, you know. I'm I'm in it to win titles and, and obviously beat people who who stand who stand there as a threat. So. I'm really looking forward to obviously getting the win on the court and try. Well, the thing is that there's got to be some doubters out there because not everybody knows what goes on behind the scenes and how things are going. They're only just look at the result and that's all they've got. But does it make you more determined to prove some of the doubt as wrong or does it have any effect at all? I mean, obviously, that's a big thing what I need to prove. I need to prove myself, you know. Um, like I said, the fight beforehand against Dawson, I, I mean, everything went perfect and I won a long zero belt all right against another dangerous fighter. but. Mentally, I was on my game, and, yeah. and everything went, went spot on. The training went good, and, and the fight went well. Uh, against Mackenzie, the training didn't go well because not because of, of anyone anyone else other than myself. Mm -hmm. Problem though, because it, I mean, I couldn't physically get myself and mentally in, into it. Mm. I didn't want to go to the gym. <laughs> everything I did was just uh, it was forced. It was a chore. It was I've got to do this again. I, I got to get out for a run this morning. I didn't want to do it, whereas normally I enjoy my training, like I have for this fight. I've enjoyed going to the gym and, and I've enjoyed going for runs or I'll be strengthening the strength work. You know? So it's, it's nothing about anyone who's involved in, in the team, it's just, it, was it was just myself. It was, it was me mentally, I couldn't get myself up for it. Um, so you've been, you've been um, going over to Ireland as part of your preparation for this one, is that right? I am. Um, I've been over to Ireland a couple of times for the fight, uh, getting, some, getting some sparring you know, with different lads. And, and obviously it gets you away from home as well and gets your mind switched on. I mean, obviously you're away for a few days and all you think about boxing. And I love Ireland, you know, it's a good country. And the thing is with Ireland is everyone loves the boxing. It's a fighting country. It's a fighting country. I mean, we're big on football over here. Um, but in Ireland, it's, it's it boxing is the, the number one sport, it isn't is, it? Uh, and uh, you can go to you can go to local, you can go to the corner shop and talk to the old one behind the tell about boxing, you know. And it's it's great. And yeah. like I say, get your mind switched on, get the sparring in with some good lads, and, and obviously it's all in preparation for the, for the fight. So obviously ahead of the fight with Courtney Fry, it, it must be great to hear Dennis Hobson speaking so well, and obviously. He, when your promoter's got so much confidence in you and what you can bring and where you can go, especially when he's making the comparisons with the uh, two cruiserweight two fought at the weekend there, um, what are your thoughts on their, their fight and maybe any plans to fight one of them in the future? I, um, I mean, obviously, what fight now? Um, 
cleverly just didn't show up to the fight. Strange, wasn't it? It, it, was, it was a funny one. I mean, and he, you got to feel for Bellew it's a win because the fight didn't live up to expectations. But I think I think Tony was there to fight, you know. Whereas whereas, uh, whereas Nathan just just didn't see didn't let that right hand go and it didn't it didn't want didn't seem to want to know. Um, but I I mean I've got a hundred percent belief in myself. And as, as you say, so is, so is Dennis Hobson and, and, and everyone around us has, you know, I know what I'm capable of and it's just all about obviously proving it, but I know that when I'm on the game, I'll get in the ring with anyone and, and, and you know, and um, I, I mean, obviously 2015, obviously we're pushing on and looking for big fights, so get this one out of the way. Like you say, get back there, get, get a win on new belt and, and back winning ways and then and then push on from there, 2015, look for some, look for some big fights. If you think about your history, you've had prize fighter champion, yeah. British champion, Lonsdale belt holder outright, so you've, had, you've defended it three times. People are very quick to forget that just after one performance, after one fight, but it's one of those things where, in terms of a bad performance or a bad night, that can be forgotten after a couple of quick wins and once you start getting yourself back on track. Yeah. Ah, that's it. I mean, I've, 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 I've had this conversation over the last few weeks and, and obviously since the fight, you know, everyone only remembers your last fight. And I mean, the Dawson fight was sharp forgotten, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, was, it was great at the time. And then eight weeks later, I boxed with Dawson McKenzie and it was just forgetting about it. It was all about the obviously the McKenzie fight, you know. Well, the Dawson fight was looked upon as probably yeah, sure. a more dangerous fight than the McKenzie yeah. one on paper and from what people were saying. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, again, like they were saying, he looked so solid before the McKenzie Aye. fight, and particularly against Dawson, he was such a big hitter, and he just dominated him. Aye. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I like say, and like people know, Dawson was a very dangerous fighter as well. Um, but I, I, can't, I can't really I can't explain it, just because yeah. I've never... I've never experienced before in a build-up to a fight. It's only the, the one time it's happened, and that was against the, the, the McKenzie, you know. So hopefully that never happens again. And but at least if, if it does happen again, yeah. you've got the experience now where you you might play it differently. You might you that's know. A, I, a that's it. Or... I mean, like I say, I mean, I'm not wanting to pull out the fight now. And, and, and coming up to the, the fight, I kept hoping that I was that. It was going to pick up, and I was going to get interested in, in, in the training, and, and it just didn't come. And I was keep thinking, hopefully next week, and then the next week came, and it, I was still flat. And I mean, I had a big year, you know. I got I got married in that, and I had a lot to look forward to. I was I had stag dues planned, and, and I had a win, and I had a honeymoon to go on. And I think, all in all, I think it was just too much happening at once. And, and, I, and I just couldn't appreciate the fight. Too many minds, as we see in the last samurai. Exactly, that. there was too much going on in my in life to, to, to have a fight at that time. You know, I should have maybe stepped back and just said, look, I've got too much going on, I can't take the fight on. Because I didn't expect to be fighting then. I didn't expect to fight after the Dawson fight till probably yeah. about now. Which, it's happened. You know it's what I mean? You learn from your mistakes. And, Obviously, I'm looking forward to getting back in and just proving what I'm all about. Well, I'm looking forward to that as well, John Lewis. But uh, thank you very much. Well, Good luck on Saturday, and I shall speak to you afterwards as well. Great time. Thank you. Thank you.